it is it is long-winded it is complicated it can make you laugh or even cry but facebook ads is a great marketing tool for you to learn hi guys welcome back to my channel it's michelle asari here i have a clothing brand called sincerely nude and i talk about everything business related on my channel welcome if you're new here do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this content you're about to see so in today's video i wanted to talk about marketing marketing your brand marketing your business and how important it is to market properly so i have for you five marketing tips to help you grow your business now marketing is so very important so you need to make sure that you get it right from the beginning of starting your business trust me we've all made the mistakes well i have you know so do better than i did and make sure that you have a marketing strategy that is going to help grow and scale your business because if you don't you will have to come back and watch this video so <laughs> okay now before i start my business is a clothing brand so i know more about the fashion business than any other business but i'm sure you can apply this in any type of e-commerce business you have but i mainly talk about fashion okay so number one is to focus on organic social media and what i mean is the free part of marketing which is your instagram facebook twitter pinterest TikTok, Tumblr, any of those are a great way to market your business using that platform for absolutely free. Um, TikTok is very powerful right now and I would say if you are going to start a business or if you are planning on scaling a business that you should utilize TikTok marketing is actually amazing. Um, in order for you to grab your um, target audience's attention, you have to create good content. Now, good content can be taking amazing pictures using good captions with keywords, hashtags, um, creating good videos. They are very important in um, reaching a broader audience. Right now, as I said, TikTok and Instagram Reels are a great way to market your business. So that type of amazing content can bring you a lot of engagement. Um, and the next thing is to be consistent. You have to be consistent when you are posting on social media. So for example, for a clothing brand, you really have to post multiple times a day um i know that it can be different if you have a different kind of um, business or niche but i would say a couple of times a day is imperative um if you're gonna miss a day that's okay but you have to be posting 99 percent of the time on your feed on your um stories videos and all of that they're very important so you have to be consistent with bringing out content continuously that's how you're gonna engage and bring in new audiences and everything else and another way to also bring in a great audience or to bring in new audience is to collab you can collab with like-minded brands like yourself so a different way to also collab is to collab with influencers a gifting type of collab where you will gift them an item or items and they would shout you out on their story or their page or something of that sort now you don't always get that 
because people don't do free um, collabs. But if you work with micro influencers, so people from maybe like from 5,000 to 20,000 Instagram followers, they usually will accept a gift to post. Make sure that their engagement is organic. Now, for example, for me, I've got a clothing brand. So I need to make sure that her engagement will be from women that would be interested in what she's wearing. More than if it's a page full of men <laughs> writing comments like, ooh, you look good, ooh, you're sexy. That's not the engagement that I, I would want because those men are not going to buy the outfit. Micro influencers, believe it or not, people with less than 20K followers, their engagement is very, very good. So don't sleep on them because they have organic engagement from people that are really interested in what they're wearing and their day and their lives. So don't sleep on the micro influencers, okay? So the next thing is that to ensure that you build a email list. Now this is so important guys. Now I didn't utilize this as much as I should have at the beginning of starting my business. I guess I didn't know the power of email marketing, but it is very powerful. So um, make sure that you capture your um, emails from your customers or from your potential customers early on. So for example, if maybe you're about to launch your store, you can put in a feature on your website where you can capture your um, potential audience's emails. You can also have a pop-up sequence on your website that as soon as a customer comes onto your website, you could say, hi, welcome um, to receive 10% off, please sign up to our newsletter or something like that. That's another way to capture a customer's email to be able to market back to them. Because do not forget guys, even though we have Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and all this amazing platform to use as well, if one day, God forbid, Instagram and Twitter and all these social medias, if they get shut down, you will lose all your customers. So it's important to capture their email so that if anything happens, you still have a way to communicate with them. So email marketing is so important. Also, another way to capture your customer is to have the abandoned cart emails. They are very important. Even myself, whenever I'm buying something, most of the time, I get so distracted that I forget to check out. So having those cart emails remind me of what I was doing an hour ago and to complete my purchase is very handy. So make sure if you have a e-commerce brand that you have the abandoned car email feature, this is gold and it can bring back a lot of sales for you that you would not have received. So make sure you have that. Also, another effective way to market to your customers is using text marketing. I cannot stress enough how powerful text marketing is. So they do say that open rates for texts are 98% and open rates for emails are only 20%. So can you imagine if you are having a great return with email marketing that the impact you would have if you had a text uh, text marketing feature in your business. It would be amazing. It would bring you such a great return, 98%. Because think about it, most people open their text messages. So if you don't have text marketing, make sure you get it. So another way for you to market your business is to gather reviews 
from your customers so this is very important now I know not every customer likes to leave a review or sometimes they don't remember to so what you could do is have a feature on your website that when they purchase something maybe after 21 days they will receive an email reminding them hey have you left the review on our store blah 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 if you can give an incentive for them to leave a review even better for example it could be like you can get 10 percent off your next order when you leave a review on our store and the reason why i encourage for customers to leave a review because it builds an honest relationship with you and your customer and your potential customer as well and also as a brand you will know what you're doing wrong you'll know what things are working what things are not working so it's good to have reviews if it's good or bad i personally think if i'm doing something wrong as a brand i would prefer to know even if it's gonna hurt my feelings and i'm gonna feel like oh my god i'm a failure it's best that i know what i'm doing wrong so that i can fix it now my last tip is for you if you know how to do this by the way because it's not for everybody is to leverage facebook ads Facebook ads can be a game changer for your business if you know what you're doing and how to do it properly. Facebook ads is amazing. It can put you in front of so many people that you that your business would have not even seen if you was not using the ads feature. It is it is long-winded, it is complicated, it can make you laugh or even cry. But Facebook ads is a great marketing tool for you to learn and to use for your business. The first important thing is to install a pixel onto your store so that when customers go onto your website, Facebook, I guess, is stealing their information for you. It sounds bad, but it's not. It's just so that you can retarget them in future. They have features where you can retarget customers from back from 180 days ago, which is like six months. So imagine if you get 50,000 people on your website, you can retarget those people. And the best thing is you can create a audience that looks like that. 50,000 people that Facebook can introduce to your brand. So even if they've never been on your website, Facebook will show people what they usually like. So if their actions and their behavior um, shows that they might like your brand, Facebook will literally put your brand in front of them. If you run ads, if you have a pixel installed, onto your website even if you don't know how to run facebook ads install the pixel onto your website right now there are loads of videos on youtube on how to install a pixel so that is it from me guys that is all of my tips today i hope it was informative and i hope you've learned something um I'm not a professional, I'm still learning along the way and I guess I'm just sharing with you the last almost three years in business, what I've learned and what are the mistakes I've made. I hope that you will use this advice or these few tips to um, better your marketing experience for your business. Um, do not give up, I know it's difficult I know it is so so hard having a business but if you just get the formula right you are going to be just fine so anyways don't forget to like leave a comment and subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content please leave a comment down below it helps with my engagement and I really would like to know if you guys want to see more of these kinds of videos leave a comment for me 
to learn from it is it boring do you like it do you hate it just let me know just so i know what videos to put out because you have to tell me okay it's also 90% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed. Yes, YouTube told me. Can you please subscribe to my channel? I would really appreciate it. It's not by force, but it kind of is at the same time, okay? Subscribing is free, yeah? Support your girl, thank you. And um, also, check out my brand, SincerelyNude.com for all your nude outfit inspirations. Thank you for watching again. Have a lovely week. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.